Hello YouTubers, this is my tutorial on how to shoot a handgun with the program Pivot. So what we want to do, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible, we want to open up our animation. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So now, I've already made pre-made this uh, animation, otherwise it will take too long. It's a very um, uh, difficult piece to do. So what you want him to do, what you want our stick man to do is um, you want him to reach into his body or pocket, we're going to pretend it's a pocket, and what you want him to do is you want him to um, shuffle about a bit, I don't think you can see it on there, but you want to add a gun, and uh, that's how big the gun comes, and you, what you want to do is colour it the first grey and uh, make it smaller. Okay, that's what you want to do to get the gun and as he pulls it out I want him to turn I want him to shoot the other way that he's facing so you want him to point his feet that's all you want him to point and then you want him to flip the whole body including the feet and the gun will be turned the opposite way around okay then you want him to bend his arm ready to thrust it forwards he's bending it back the gun's still there now he's, the gun's behind his head and he pulls it forward. Now all you want to do for this is get the arm straight and then bend it back. This gives the illusion that he's, bend, uh, that he's thrusting the gun forward and there it is, it's out. Okay, you just want to do two of them. Now this is the most important frame. This is the shooting, that is, this is the uh, shot. There. Okay, now what you want to do is get something that fills the whole screen and colour it orange. Uh, you want to get a little grey bar that's the shadow from the flash and you want to get a stick man the same as the other stick man I put it in exactly the same position a little bit forwards and colour it light yellow you also want a, a flash a muzzle flash okay then as it, everything else disappears including the shadow you there's still a, an image in front of there's still another stick man it's just dark very dark brown and you can see we've got smoke there um, that's what the smoke looks like okay now so I've also got dots little, um, little dots to use as smoke okay and you can also see the bullet casing as it flies out it's a little tiny bar called uh, orange or gold now it lowers the gun and you can still see the smoke and then the smoke's going to fade away as you can see the smoke's faded bullet casing falls and the smoke fades you can also see that uh, he bends backwards with recoil that's very important and as the bullet casing falls it's not a dead weight it actually bounces ok so that's what we're going to look at now very good look at that ok so I'm going to see if this works, I don't think it will. I'm just gonna have a go. Okay, I'm gonna get another muzzle flash. And I'm gonna put it on. It's the same one as this. Well it's not, it's it's longer. So I'm gonna add that and try and make that. 50. Uh, this probably won't work. You don't want it where the gun is now. You're going to put it down where the gun was when it shot. These are really useful in battle scenes or uh, it's really effective at night if you want to do it at night. Uh, I don't think this will work. No. No, that, that doesn't work, so we don't want that. As you can see, it doesn't really look that good with the orange flash. 
Mm, the, the only time you really need that or the flash is when um, when it's with a, a an assault rifle that doesn't have that much recoil. Okay. So thank you for watching. That is our tutorial, my tutorial. Um, sorry I had to do that pre-made before. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. There'll be more tutorials on the way. Thank you from Dr. DRG. I'm going to show you now um, the animation. This is it in normal mode. With added effects, as you can see, the line from when he shoots, there's a line coming out of the gun. Thank you for watching. I'm so tired of being lonely. Um, please subscribe, please.